What's up everyone back for you know the beer review and today is Thanksgiving so hopefully you're having a great Thanksgiving and I thought to celebrate the holiday I would review a beer that kind of invokes the spirit of Thanksgiving at least from a beer perspective so I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Platform Beer Company and they're out of Cleveland Ohio and this is their S'mores Yammy so they're calling this a sweet potato ale with natural flavors. What that means is this is an ale that is brewed with sweet potatoes, marshmallow fluff, graham cracker, chocolate, lactose, and a spice blend comes in at 7.9% alcohol by volume, 25 IBUs at the time of review. This can is approximately two and a half months old. So last year for Thanksgiving, I reviewed a sweet potato beer and that's because I like sweet potatoes, especially when it comes to Thanksgiving. Fantastic. I like them. And there aren't a lot of sweet potato beers in general. So I reviewed one last year and I thought I would continue the tradition this year and review another one. Now, this is a variant of their Yammy Yammy, which is just a sweet potato ale. I, I believe it's just brewed uh, with uh, sweet potatoes and that spice blend. Now, the spice blend they are talking about, I believe, includes cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and clove. And uh, yeah, they're just adding like the s'mores aspect to this one with the uh, marshmallow fluff, graham cracker, and chocolate. So and I believe lactose as well. So anyway, it doesn't say lactose on it. They usually throw the adjuncts, but on their website and on tapped, it said lactose. So we're just gonna believe there's lactose in here. I don't know, we'll see. Let's crack this one open, get into glass, see if we get a nice s'mores uh, characteristic of this one in addition to the sweet potato base. So with chocolate, I thought it would be maybe a little darker, but you know, it is what it is. Throw that over here. And yeah, so that, you know, kind of looks like your typical, you know, sweet potato, pumpkin, yam kind of um, beer. Has this really nice orange color, good clarity to it, about a half finger of this really light, I don't know how it's gonna come off on camera, really light tan uh, colored head. Looks relatively creamy. Yeah, I'd say it looks nice. Let's get a nose. Definitely getting the sweet potato and the spices, for sure. It's kind of smells, you know, akin to like a pumpkin beer because the spices they're using are very similar to pumpkin beers. The sweet potato, a little bit of sweetness in there, touch of earthiness, more so than a, I mentioned this in all the pumpkin uh, reviews I did this year. Again, sweet potato is not pumpkin, but when it comes to pumpkin, usually I don't pick up on it in the taste or in the nose. And if I do, it's just like a generic earthiness. And that's what I'm kind of getting here, earthiness from the sweet potato. There's a vanilla sweetness from the lactose. Marshmallow fluff, not really chocolate. I'm not really getting it. Honestly, right now I can tell you I'm not really picking up on the s'mores aspect of this beer. This kind of just smells, if you would have told me this is a sweet potato, I'm like, all right, getting earthiness from the sweet potato, getting the spices that I would associate with a beer of this uh, style, and a uh, little bit of vanilla from uh, the lactose, I think, and that's really it. Doesn't smell bad, but doesn't smell like a s'mores beer. So let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. So the taste for me, I'm definitely getting the chocolate now and the marshmallow. But it's not big. It's very small, minute, nuanced. The bad body on this one at 7.9%, it's like lower side of medium to a medium body, so a little bit thin at almost 8%. The mouthfeel, the lactose, giving it a nice creaminess. There is carbonation here. It has a nice... I wouldn't say it's necessarily crisp, but it has a you know moderate carbonation to it. So it's creamy with a nice carbonation. Body and mouthfeel are fine. The taste is, it's weird. I I don't know, with all these adjuncts, I just thought this was gonna be a, something different to my palate. So right up front, hit with all those spices. Ginger and cinnamon, 100%. Not really too much of the nutmeg clove thing, more ginger cinnamon for me. And that has right at the forefront. Pass through the palate, a little bit like a chocolate syrup kind of vibe, like a Hershey's chocolate syrup. It's more of a sweet, like, you know, milk chocolate hits. And a touch of like a graham cracker kind of crust. Uh, Vanilla is mixed in in there. Could be the marshmallow fluff in addition to lactose. But again, it's all very subtle. As it continues down through the palate, the earthiness from like the sweet potato kind of hits me. And again, it's just a generic earth, uh, earthiness. And then on the back of the palate, this finish is semi-dry. Decent residual sweetness, but more like a semi-dry finish um, with a like a low to moderate bitterness as well. 7.9%, I really can't tell that's 7.9% on the palate. I would say this drink's like, you know, six, six and a half. So they hide the alcohol extremely well. 
a little bit of chest warming though lets me know that it does have an alcohol kick to it to some degree. This is not a bad beer in the least. It's just, I thought this was going to be completely different for me. You know, I thought that that the, the, the s'mores aspect was going to be a little bit more bolder and just impactful and like punching me in the face with s'mores characteristics. You know, that's, that's what I thought about this one because I figured they have their yammy yammy and then they do a variation. I thought this would change it to... Uh, you know, a bigger degree than what it what it has at least in my opinion again i've never had the base but this kind of tastes like the base which is hints of s'mores as opposed to like a you know more of a s'mores influence to this one it depends i guess on how much of the s'mores aspect you want in this beer i want it to be a little bit more uh just bold and inviting uh, i think it, it, the nuances are nice to this one but this one just kind of drinks like a sweet potato well i get some of the sweet potato i get that splice uh blend a little bit of like the lactose to the mouthfeel and the vanilla in the taste. But really the chocolate's very small. Uh, the graham cracker's very small. And um, I'm somewhat disappointed in this because, you know, it is Thanksgiving. And I was like, oh, I hope this would be delicious. It's just a solid good beer for me. Not much more to say. So uh, S'mores Yammy from Platform. I'm going to give this a high 3.5 out of 5. I'm going to go 3.55 out of 5. Can't give it much more than that. Um, you know, I, I'm again, it's, it's a fine beer. I'll drink the rest of it. Nothing wrong with it uh, from that aspect. It's not brewed improperly. There's no fault or nothing. It's just I wanted more s'mores, and, you know, the flavors are okay, but not not my favorite. So if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it because uh, I'd be curious to see. I could see this being a very polarizing beer. A lot of people might love it. A lot of people might hate it somewhere in between. I'm pretty much in between. I think it's solid. I think it's all right, but, uh, you know, it's it's not my favorite uh, beer within, like, these styles of, like, the, the pumpkin, yam, and, and sweet potato beer. So uh, price and availability, paid $2.89 for that can. I believe these come in six packs. Probably talking about, like, you know, somewhere between, you know, $14 to $18, depending upon uh, where you can get this one, which brings me to the availability. I picked this up uh, on my travels in Ohio. Obviously, they're from Cleveland. I think they have a location in Cincinnati and maybe a couple other uh, locations. I don't know if it mentions on the back. Now, uh, I know they have a couple different locations, and um, I think they were recently bought by uh, AB InBev as well. But uh, I've seen some of their beers trickle into the Washington York area, specifically Rochester, so I can pick up some of their stuff occasionally. It has not made it here to the Buffalo area yet. I'd imagine at some point it will. Uh, so availability is probably pretty good for these guys and will probably be better down the road. Uh, but yeah, anyway, if you've had this one before, like I said, let me know what you think about it. I'm really curious to hear other people's opinions on this one because it's just a weird beer. And uh, hopefully, like I said, everybody had uh, or is going to have because I'll be posting this in the morning. But hopefully everybody is going to have a great Thanksgiving celebrating with friends and family because that's what it's all about. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review to the next one. Cheers.